Gawara's microstepper motor tester is a vital tool for developing and evaluating the small and micro stepper motors. At first, I will briefly introduce Sugawara Laboratories. Since its founding in 1954, we have helped the customers to improve the products in areas such as stroboscopes and light sources for machine vision, ball bearing noise inspection, and motor torque testing for more than 50 years. The Micro Stepper Motor Tester SMT2 is an instrument to accurately measure the torque frequency characteristics of the small and micro stepper motors. Mounting the motor on the motor stand. Setting the drive frequencies you want to test and click the start button. The tester controls the motor rotation and loads torque on it according to its unique test procedure. It measures the pull-out torque and the pull-in torque at each test frequency and obtains the torque frequency curve automatically. The system consists of the controller, the tester, and a set of sensors of six different force ratings. The tester's moment of inertia attached on the motor shaft can spoil the data accuracy, especially in stepper motor testing. The SMT2 solved this problem by the thread prony brake. The brake torque is applied by the friction of the thread wound around the pulley, which is attached on the motor shaft. In this way, the moment of inertia effect is minimum. The moving sensor moves to the right to pull the thread. Then, the torque data is obtained by the absolute value of F1 minus F2 multiplied by the pulley radius. Now, put a pulley on the motor shaft. Connect the motor driver to the controller so that it controls the drive frequency of the motor. Mount the motor on the motor stand. Wind the brake thread around the pulley and attach either ends of the thread to the hooks of the sensors. The test begins with the pull-out torque. The controller rotates the motor at lower frequency and accelerates it to the test frequency. The brake torque goes up as the moving sensor slowly moves to tighten the thread. At a certain torque value, the motor loses synchronism and stops. This is the pull-out torque, the maximum torque at which the motor can operate without losing synchronism. Then, it goes on to the pull-in torque test. The moving sensor slightly moves to the left to decrease the torque. And emits the drive pulse to the motor in the holding state 
to check if it can start up or not. If the motor cannot start up, the sensor moves again to decrease the torque a little more and does the same test. The motor will finally start up at a certain torque point. This is the pull-in torque, the maximum torque at which the motor can start up. The system repeats the procedure at each frequency to obtain the torque frequency curve. This curve indicates the range of operation of this motor. The pruning curve defines an area called start-stop range where the motor can start up, stop, and reverse. The pull-out curve defines an area called through range where the motor can operate without losing synchronism. The main features of the SMT system can be summarized in the following four points. The thread prony brake enables accurate and stable measurement with least moment of inertia effect. It also ensures correlation with the data taken by the traditional manual testing. The Windows PC controls the measurement with the dedicated software. It indicates and saves data most efficiently with shorter time. It tests the motor starting up from the holding state at each torque point exactly according to the definition of the pull-in torque. This is not possible by the conventional torque sweep testing. It can accurately test micromotors of the torque less than 0.1 mN by winding the thread directly on the motor shaft. We believe Sugawara's micro stepper motor tester will help you develop your motors and also improve the quality of your products at low cost. Thank you very much.